Good morning. I'm going to try to help you with your calendar and also help myself. Um, our calendar can be a great resource for you, um, but also it can be a pain if there's too much information there and you can't find what you need. So one thing you can do is you can make different calendars. And here's the Western calendar. I'm going to turn off um, some other calendars that I have. And you can see that as I turn off things now, just have the Western calendar. Now, a lot of times um, I am putting things that maybe you don't need to see. Um, but sometimes I put things in there because I'm putting in because I want you to see them. Maybe a meeting um, and it's just an extra meeting reminder. Um, but when I put an item for Western, I also have my calendar. And hopefully it's not always showing, but sometimes things may show up out of my calendar because I'm adding them as a reminder. Because the calendar is a great place for reminders. Also, it's a great place for to-do list. If you go over here to create, excuse me, not create, to my calendar, Excuse me, I already got it set up. If you go over to task, everyone should have task on their calendar. Da da, a to do list can come up. Uh, that to do list can be very helpful because it also works in your email. It, whatever to do list here, the task list also goes into your email. Um, so you can turn on and off like these calendars. I have one for the principal calendar. I have one for continuous improvement. And I have personal calendars also. Okay? So these things are going to show up as you click on and off. I would keep the Western Elementary on so that you can see when things are added. But I would make this a go-to place for you. Also, you have data collection report cards, grades, all kind of things. This is a great place to put those. So I'm going to give you a quick, um, make sure you know how to do. Here's something that I just added called collect data on the student. I'm going to show you how to add that. I'm just going to click and I'm going to add collect data on student. And then you can see where am I going to put it. I can put it to Stanley or I can put it to Western or testing or supervision or any of my calendars I want to put it, I'm going to put it on the Western calendar. Um, so collect that on student. Now I can edit the event. Here I can put it to repeat. If I need to do this every Tuesday, um, if I need to collect data for the next um, six weeks, I could put it right there and it would remind me every Tuesday at one o'clock collect data and then you need to do done and you can also add here where it says add attachment you could add the data sheet there so you can collect that and here you can put any kind of description that you need and then you've got to hit save so I'm just gonna go back and discard that so you could have collect data here and notice it could come up every time you need to do it and I'm going to click on it one more time. You can add reminders, email, and pop-up notifications. These will come up on your computer, on your Chromebook, on your phone, anywhere you have that all linked. Okay? So this is what the calendar. So the calendar can help you be very, very productive. And if you see something that's not, um, not in here, like I put reach, um, I've done that to, for a reminder at the beginning of the year. I may take that away because I think we know when reach is now. But it is helpful for other people like myself. Um, STEM club, and you can see faculty meeting. Hopefully those are there too. But we're trying to keep this updated and add, and you can do the same by adding a kindergarten specials, kindergarten list, or first grade list. And you can ask me, and I can join that, and that would show up in my calendar too. Especially if you wanted me to come see a special project, you could put it right here. I would see it and I would know. Hopefully this has been helpful for your calendar. Um, there's a lot more to it. 
but this will be the end of this video. Thank you.